Respondeat superior means let the employer answer and is a doctrine that holds employers liable for certain acts of their employees despite lack of fault on the employer's part. The case of Fruit v. Schreiner, Equitable Life Assurance Society v. Schreiner, considers the doctrine's applicability to a car accident stemming from informal socializing at a sales conference. In 1969, Clay Fruit attended a mandatory multi-day sales convention hosted by his employer, Equitable Life Assurance Society. Fruit drove his own car because local attendees like him were required to use private transportation to get to the convention hotel. Equitable encouraged Fruit and his Alaska colleagues to socialize with out-of-state convention guests at business meetings, dinners, and cocktail parties. Disorderly partying was reported near the agency manager's room, and attendees frequented the Waterfront Bar and Restaurant about five miles away and the Salty Dog Bar half a mile away. During the convention, Fruit fell asleep on the floor of another guest's room after attending a morning meeting and cocktail party in the agency manager's room and going to an out-of-state guest's room for drinks. Fruit slept through the evening cocktail party and dinner and was woken up by other attendees between 10 and 11.30 at night. The group walked to the Salty Dog Bar, but returned shortly after. Fruit then drove to the waterfront bar and restaurant because he thought that some out-of-state guests were there, but left when he realized they weren't. At around 2 in the morning, Fruit passed the Salty Dog Bar on the way back to the hotel. John Schreiner was standing in front of his disabled car with the hood raised on or immediately off the side of the road opposite Fruit's lane. Fruit braked and skidded across the highway and collided with the front of Schreiner's car. Schreiner's legs were crushed. His left leg had to be amputated, and the muscle tissue in the right leg was so destroyed that he was left crippled and permanently disabled. Schreiner needed exploratory surgery, which resulted in a urinary disorder and exacerbated the damage to his legs. Schreiner had to sell his home, a lot, and securities to cover medical expenses and loss of income. Schreiner sued Fruit and Equitable for damages. The jury awarded damages against both Fruit and Equitable, finding in part that Fruit's negligence was the proximate cause of the accident. Fruit and Equitable moved for a judgment notwithstanding the verdict. Both motions were denied. Fruit and Equitable appealed. 